Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Fred Dispense demonstrating webinar on how to access a patient my host record through Fred Dispense. My name is Sarah, and I'm a pharmacy engagement officer with the Primary Health Network Central East and Sydney PHN, and part of the my host record expansion team here at the PHN. With me this evening, I also have Monica. She is also one of our pharmacy engagement officers and will be demonstrating and assisting in the webinar tonight. Before we start the webinar, I would like to acknowledge the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people of this nation. We acknowledge the traditional custodians and sovereign people of the land across which we work. We recognize the continuing connection to land, water and community and pay respects to elders past, present and merging. Just a few housekeeping notes before we start. Please note if you are not sure where to find the chat box throughout the webinar. In case you would like to send us a message or a question at the end of your presentation, you should have a box like the black one shown in the slide somewhere on your computer screen. You can get the chat box up by clicking on the chat icon, which is shown by the red arrow. Please hold all questions to the end of the presentation. There will be an opportunity for questions and answers at the end of the webinar. Today, we will be demonstrating on how to view clinical documents, dispense records, and upload event summaries into a patient's My Health record from Fred Dispense. I will also be demonstrating on to how to validate patient's IHI and also pharmacist HPII through Fred Dispense. We will be using the screenshots that we have obtained from the Australian Digital Health Agency's on-demand training simulation, which is easily accessible through the agency's website. We have also used screenshots from the Fred Web Help Online My Host Record support as well. The links for these websites are included on a slide at the end of this webinar for your reference. The simulation from the Australian Digital Health Agency also contains instructions on how to perform the demonstrated steps. We would be using a few terminologies throughout this webinar. As you are aware, a HBII stands for a healthcare provider identifier individual, which represents who provided the service. An IHI stands for an individual healthcare identifier representing who received the service. And a HBIO stands for a healthcare provider identifier organization representing where the service was provided. We will start by how to enable access to a My Host record, adding your pharmacist HBII into Fred Dispense. Before you can access a patient's record and upload dispense scripts into a patient's My Host record, you need to ensure that your pharmacist HBII are added and validated within Fred Dispense. In Fred, from the list menu, select Pharmacist. The Pharmacist Details window will appear. Find your Pharmacist Details by navigating Previous or Next on the Pharmacist Details window to look up your record. Enter or search for your APRA number. Click the search button next to the HPII field. Your surname and APRA number are used to search against the healthcare identifier service. Your HPII is now displayed on the pharmacist details window along with the status active. Click save to continue. Otherwise, if you are entering a new pharmacist, select add to add a new pharmacist into the system. Enter or search for your APRA number, then click the search button next to the HPII field. Fred will retrieve your HPII and the status should be displayed as active. Click save to continue. We will now demonstrate on how to view your patient's My Health record and access clinical documents. To view your patient's My Health record, ensure patient's IHI has been verified in FRED by saving the five core demographic details. First name, surname, gender, date of birth, and Medicare or a DVA card number. When entering a new patient into FRED dispense, ensure all five demographic details have been added into patient's details. Then request patient's IHI. Fred Dispense will automatically retrieve the patient's IHI from Medicare Healthcare Identifier Service and the status will change. The My Host Record icon in the toolbar changes color 
depending on your patient's status. A green icon indicates patient has a valid IHI and an advertised My Health Report. A red icon indicates a patient has a valid IHI but no My Health Record or they have set restrictions on their record. For example, record access code. And gray My Health Record icon indicates the status of your patient's My Health Record cannot be found. For example, not enough details to validate the IHI. To view a My Health Record accessing clinical documents, select the My Health Record icon from Fred Toolbar. The authentication required window will then display. Enter your pharmacist's initials and password and select OK. The My Health Record access window then displays. Fred Dispense automatically selects the appropriate access options. If your patient has restricted access to their record, you will need to select Gain Access with an Access Code and ask the patient for their password or a PIN number to enter and select OK. By default, your patient's My Health Record Description and Dispense View tab displays the last 12 months of dispense record. The filter can be adopted to change dates, grouping, or include prescription records. To view an entry in a more detail, double click on Entry to display. To search for another My Health Record document, for example, Discharge Summary or a Shirt Health Summary, select the Document Search tab at the top of the toolbar. Filter by document type, provider and date, and click search. To view an entry in more detail, double click on the entry to display. You can also save and print documents as you go. A shared health summary is an important feature of the My Health Record system. It includes information about a patient's medical history, including medications they are currently taking, allergies, and adverse reactions they may have or immunizations they may have received. The Medicine View tab is there to assist the user in finding medicine-related information contained in the patient's My Health Record. Previews are provided of medicine-related information in documents where available, with links to the source documents where more detailed information can be obtained. Allergies and adverse reactions can also be, be viewed here, if applicable. You have now completed how to view a patient's My Health record and access clinical documents and dispense and prescription records. We will now demonstrate how to upload a dispense record into a patient's My Health record. On your patient's dispensing screen, when you search the drug or repeat number field, the My Health record indicator is displayed at the top of the field. By default, this indicator is set to yes which means the record will be automatically uploaded into a My Health record. To switch consent status between a yes or a no, press Alt plus E from your keyboard. If your patient does not have a My Health record advertised or the pharmacist does not have their HPII link in FRED, the indicator will be blank. Please note, once a descript has been finalized and dispensed, its consent status cannot be changed. If you need to change the consent status, you will need to delete and redispense the prescription. If you have made a dispense error, for example, a wrong drug or direction that was uploaded into a patient's My Health record, go back into the dispense record and edit the prescription as normal. Finalizing by entering the relevant pharmacist initials. The correct entry will then be re-uploaded into a patient's My Health record. If you dispense under the wrong patient's My Health record, you will need to delete the dispense record and re-dispense in full to the correct patient. Do not use the merge function in FRED for this purpose. You have now completed how to dispense to a patient's My Health record on FRED dispense. So I will now demonstrate how to upload an event summary into a patient's My Health record. Specifically, we'll be looking at how to add an allergy. So an allergy must already be recorded for the patient in Fred Dispense before you can send it to their My Health record. 
So firstly, we search for and select the patient. We then press F8 to open up the patient details screen. Select allergies and make sure the My Health Record event summary content is ticked. From here, the patient's allergies and condition window is displayed. The right-hand panel shows the allergies and conditions that have been added to the patient's record in Fred Dispense. If required, select additional allergies in the left-hand panel and then click Add. In this case, we have added penicillin. Click on the My Health Record tab on the bottom right. Following this, the Update My Health Record Step 1 of 2 window is displayed. Here the patient's allergies are displayed with the indication of whether the allergy is listed in Fred Dispense, My Health Record or both. By default, the update checkbox is ticked for every allergy. If there are any allergies you do not want to add to the patient's My Health Record, untick their boxes. Click Next. And then the Update My Health Record Step 2 of 2 window is displayed. And this shows the details of the first allergy you are adding to the patient's My Health Record. The heading near the top of the window indicates the type of operation you're performing, add, amend or remove, whilst the document ID, version and last update fields are read only. In the patient allergy reaction field, you are able to enter details about the manifestation of the allergy. To send the event summary for this allergy to the patient's My Health Record, click Add. Following this, an uploading allergy to My Health Record dialog box is displayed. If you click Cancel, depending on how far the process has gone, the event summary might still be created. Once the event summary is uploaded, a success message is displayed. You can then press any key to continue and if there are more allergies to add, the Update My Health Record Step 2 of 2 window changes to show the next allergy. So I'll now demonstrate how to gain access to a patient's My Health Record that has an applied restriction. So we'll select the My Health Record icon where the authentication required window will display. You'll enter your pharmacist's initials and password and then select OK. The My Health Record record access window will then be displayed as shown. Fred Dispense automatically selects the appropriate access option. Since your patient has restricted access to their record, you will need to select the option Gain Access with Access Code. And here you'll need to ask the patient for their PIN or password to enter in and then select OK. In this case, the code is 1234. In the case of an emergency, you may override any access controls by pressing the emergency access button. This option should only be used where access is deemed to be necessary in order to prevent or lessen serious threat to an individual's life, health or safety, or public's health or safety. To gain emergency access to the patient's My Health Record, enter yes in the text box and then press enter. Once the data is retrieved, you will now have full access to the patient's My Health Record. So we'll now demonstrate how to enable pharmacist access to the My Health Record within Fred Dispense. So from the setup menu, select Owner Details as highlighted in yellow. And then the Owner Details window is displayed. Click Security Administration. And then the person with authority will need to enter in their password to proceed. Within the software provider portal demonstrations, Marie Stimson is the administrator and test is the password. Click OK and then the security administration window is displayed. Select active for all the pharmacists you want to create a temporary password for. Make sure at least one pharmacist has the admin option selected. This will allow them to access the security administration window to set up other pharmacists. 
A temporary password is displayed for each activated user, as you can see on the right highlighted in red. If a pharmacist is not displayed here, you'll need to add them to the pharmacist list in Fred Dispensed first. To export or print the temporary passwords, click Print Passwords on the bottom left. The printout will include instructions on creating a permanent password. To save your changes and close the window, just press OK. To change a password, enter into pharmacist details, which is to change a password, enter into pharmacist details, which is found under lists in the Fred Dispense toolbar. Enter in the temporary existing password, create your new password, and then proceed to entering a security question. If you would look, like to look at a person's My Health record and you've forgotten your password, you are then able to click Forgot Password and answer the security question. So that was a quick rundown on how to view clinical documents, upload dispense records and upload event summaries onto the My Health record through Fred Dispense. As mentioned prior, the Australian Digital Health Agency's on-demand training simulation is accessible online through the agency's website and it's a great way to navigate through My Health record features. So we'll now give you the opportunity to ask any questions. If you have any questions, please type them in the chat box and we'll wait a couple of minutes for them all to come through. So thank you so much for joining us tonight for this live FRED demo webinar on how to access a patient's My Health Record. For more information on the My Health Record program, you're able to use the following websites. And please also feel free to contact the digital health team at myhealthrecord at cespin.com.au. If you require any further assistance with how to access My Health Record through Fred Dispense, our pharmacy engagement officers will be happy to help you. Thank you guys. Good night.